Hello, I'm in Parramatta Park today at the foot of this very lovely new city to describe why I am boycotting Dune 2. It's not a decision made lightly, it's a title that I have loved for decades. I read the first three Dune books before God Emperor had ever come out. And so it's not easy, it's not an easy decision to make. In fact, I'd even threatened to boycott the first Dune movie because they hadn't actually committed to the second one yet. Uh, but fortunately, Warner Brothers greenlit the second Dune movie and so then I didn't feel bad about going and seeing the first one, committing to the cast and the interpretation of the material, only to be rug-pulled. But it's a certain rug-pulling of another nature, which is the real reason I'm not going to go see Dune 2. And that is because of a movie called Coyote vs. Acme. Coyote vs. Acme is a completed film. It is a Roger Rabbit-like hybrid of live action and animation with the, in this case, Warner Brothers characters. This film is made, it's done. It was made as a labor of love by its creators who include James Gunn, the man who's supposedly the savior of the DCEU, made Guardians of the Galaxy films, and some of the more successful of the MCU. But that wasn't good enough. They want, Warner Brothers wanted a tax write-off, so essentially what they're doing is shelving the entire completed project and there was a bit of a struggle by the filmmakers saying, no, let us shop it around. Let us get somebody else to distribute it if you don't want to distribute it. And they say, okay. Warner Brothers goes, okay, here's your chance. Go ask Netflix or whoever. But this is how much we want for it. We want the budget. But the offers were not before the whole budget. So Warner Brothers rejected it, saying, no, we want the tax write-off. I mean, they didn't mention that they could have taken what they gotten and written the rest off as a tax write-off. That's what they could have done. So what is the real reason they're shelving this movie? Well, I believe they're afraid of the message. The message is that of the little guy going against the soulless corporation, and I'm assuming winning, I'm assuming winning, because it's, you know, it's a movie, right? In this case, the artists, the artists and creatives in Hollywood, the artists and creatives of Hollywood going up against the soulless corporation. They don't like that message. They don't like the idea of an average person actually winning against the soulless corporation. And they're afraid of that message, especially now 